Newer cameras these days, like the Canon R5 Mark II, is capable of shooting 30 frames per second plus pre-shooting. And if you're a wildlife photographer, you find yourself holding down the shutter button a little bit longer than you're supposed to and you end up with a lot of photos, which not only is a lot of storage, but it's a lot to process on the computer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I go through 2,600 photos, which really isn't that much to me. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had to go through 12,000, but I'm gonna go through 2,600 photos today and see if we get it down to, definitely be under 100 photos, but see if we get it down to like four or five, you know, final edited photos. I'm not going to show you my editing process, but I wanted to show you exactly how I call these in real time so you guys have an idea of what it's like. This is my way and uh, this is how I prefer to do it. Right before I begin, I just want to introduce myself. If you guys don't know me, my name is Chris Suckenbach. I'm a wildlife photographer here in beautiful Kodiak, Alaska. You'll see some of the stuff we have on a typical February afternoon. So it's really two days worth of photos. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and let's start first thing i'm going to do is be in the library option on my lightroom now i do use adobe lightroom if you guys use other programs i can't help you there because i really don't know anything about them but um we are in adobe lightroom and you see we got like 2600 photos 2625 to go through so first thing i'm going to do is be in the library tab and i'm just going to use two basic fingers right my right hand and my left hand the right hand is going to be for scrolling left and right and the left hand is going to be for rating with the one star button even if you have like a five star photo or something i'm going to use one just to get a, a little preview onto the photos that i definitely want to keep it's easier to do this in a library tab because your computer will run it a little faster if you're in the develop tab it's not going to run as fast so it's going to be a little bit slower so library tab, first picture, we're gonna press F to go full screen. And we are going to uh, not rate this one. And uh, I had to change my shutter speed in a little bit. I, didn't, I forgot to adjust my shutter speed for this. So let's just see if we have anything. And you know, none of these photos are really gonna be absolutely amazing, but I wanted to shoot some eagles. So that looks pretty sharp. Uh, we'll press one and now we rated it. And we're just gonna keep going. I am probably gonna eventually stop talking here in a second, put some music in the background because I wanna show this in real time and not speed it up and not show any cuts or anything. And uh, you'll see, it probably won't take me too long to do 2,600 photos. When I am kind of scrolling through um, and things are looking really repetitive because when you're doing wildlife photography editing and culling like this, it's not gonna be like 2,600 different photos. It's gonna be like a couple scenarios that you were in and you're just gonna skip to the scenarios that you want and each scenario might have four or 500 photos or something like that. So um, you are the photographer, you can you know do this how you want. Uh, sometimes like if I know I'm missing out something, I'll just hold down the arrow key and this one looks better, I like that. I'll hold down the arrow key. I like the rain in the background. Um, not really a big fan of these compositions. I did center him a little much, but that looks pretty good. Well, that was kind of cool. Is that sharp? Okay, that's a, I, I haven't even seen these photos yet. That's pretty dang cool. That's, that is awesome. I'm gonna be adding that to my five star icon. That looks pretty cool. Eventually you'll be like, okay, a lot of these look the same. I'm going, sometimes I go left and right just to like kind of reconfirm what I'm looking at and I'll see like, oh, does this one look a little better? Does the background look nicer? Uh, does this one look a little bit sharper? So that's why I go left and right sometimes. Um, See, like, le right, left. I like the rain in the background. It shows the environment just a little bit more. These are shot with the Canon R5 100-500. You see some seagulls flying in the background there. I kind of like the little bokeh blur. So, not really liking these compositions, so I'm just going to kind of fast forward a little bit by holding down the right arrow key 
and already we're at our next little eagle here i'll just one star one or two this one has a nictitating membrane all right we're just gonna keep zooming okay this was pretty cool because i focused on the eagle in the background and then there's this eagle in the foreground which is completely completely decimated like this guy was like three feet from me i'll have an instagram reel on this uh, in a couple days or whenever i get to that but um i did like that you know they were kind of looking at each other um but one's completely blurred out and check out this crow that was like hey how are you my name's tom all right and this boat is nothing wildlife my daughter's name is Ella Renee, and uh, when we first decided on the name for Ella Renee, I saw this boat the next day. It's called the Michelle Renee, and uh, but it was going past like a, a buoy or something, and all I saw was Ella Renee. My mind wanted to see, and I was like, what the heck? That's kind of cool. So I found the boat again, and I just took a picture, sent it to my dad. So, yeah. All right, that's done. Now we're on to some emperor geese. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna like many of these photos, but you know, if I do take a couple, I, I do wanna rate just a few, just to have something to post on Facebook. I like to, you know, show what's going on currently and not just show, you know, my best of the best portfolio, so. We're gonna power through these emperor geese here. Oh wow, they're in flight, flying away from me. Amazing. I'm not gonna raid any of these. None of these look really good. There's, okay. And I had a bad shutter speed here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'll just, something, I guess. That looks kind of cool. All right, these sharp. Just zoom in here. No, no, they're out of focus. How about now? No, nope. I really like it. The one thing I will say when you're editing within a li library, sometimes they might look a little unsharp or something. So what I'll do is I'll exit the full screen and I'll go to the develop tab and just zoom in. And I mean, it's a little bit soft, not as bad as it looked in the library, but I still not really going to keep any of these photos. So let's go back. We're already six. We're already 600 photos in. So that's pretty cool. These guys are pretty tricky to photograph because they don't let you really get too close to them. Uh, sometimes I have, uh, it just depends on their mood. Um, even if you're kind of hiding, they can, they can see you and they will fly away. But um, sometimes I get some cool shots, some cool compositions that just, you know, maybe there's something cool here. They are so cool looking. Of course, these ones are not in focus. Like focused on one of these guys or something. I never thought I'd be taking photos of geese until I've learned about emperor geese. And uh, these things are really beautiful. All right. That day's over. Didn't really have anything I liked to that though. All right, on to today, which were some swans in the rain on some ice. Oh, and then it's gonna show some drone shots that I took. I already edited the drone shots. So, yeah. All right, these are gonna be pretty cool. Um, man, these freaking swans, these trumpeter swans, were kind of waddling on some ice, and it, they looked really cool. But God, there was poop everywhere. So. Let's see if we got any cool shots here. Hold on, my dog is getting into some stuff. We're back, 
dog got into some trash. Let me have a sip of water. Man. I just heard trash rattling and I was like, what's going on? Then I put two and two together. Okay, back to the swans. I actually got a few shots that I really did like today. You'll see them in a little bit. So like, watch this. If I zoom in on the library, it is a pretty low pixelated. I know it's sharp. I can tell that it's sharp just from experience, but when I go to the develop tab, now you can see it's a sharp photo. So if you really need to choose sharpness, then I'm just switch to develop. But for most of your shots, you could tell while you're editing in the library. Um, and all right. I gotta get these, let me get these drone shots out of here real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I, I had some drone shots today that I edited before I did this video, but I really haven't looked at this wildlife stuff yet. Wait, did that guy just poop right there? No, he just walked over it. Man. See, it's just like, <laughs> the poop just ruins the photos, to be honest. It's kind of cool that they're on ice. That's pretty cool. I see just raining so heavy today. All right, this family was really cool because uh, there is another one, another baby somewhere, but uh, I think I have a couple really beautiful, beautiful photos where they're all lined up. So this is not too bad. Kinda... I do really like these a lot. All right. This is when I'm just holding an arrow key. Okay, this. Uh, this one on the right wouldn't freaking look the right way. It was like so frustrating. He almost did it and then he's like, nope, I'm gonna look the other way. And uh, let me see, I just, unfortunately he never did. Later on he did, but it's not as good. Uh, these guys were just singing their trumpets and everything, so. I'm oh, shook, I like it. Mouth wide open. Let's see if we can find them where all the, they're all doing the same thing, and then maybe there's a couple photos where they're doing something different. If they all open their mouth at the same time, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, and then I was like, I, give, I was giving up on the right, one on the right, because he didn't want to look. And then this one was cool because then they alternated. And then I thought, oh, they're all going to look the other way. And then the one in the middle right didn't look the other way. So, ah, oh, it was so frustrating. But it was still really cool, really cute moment. This one's kind of cool because it's like they're protecting the babies. And that one on the right just did not want to cooperate. The one on the left is pretty cool. He is doing something with the... God, their necks are insane. Just making sure I don't miss a shot that I really like on this scenario. All right, now they now they get a little bit of separation. They eventually do this, but it's not their like separation isn't the, like there's too much gap in between the middle, which you know it's cool because they they finally did all look the one way, but I don't think they have that same separation. It was like the Beatles, um, like when they had the similar separation. It was like the Beatles uh, album cover where they're on the crosswalk and yeah that was all I got of that family I took a lot of videos today too man this poop was just everywhere and then I was walking back to the car and I was like oh maybe they're gonna do something oh this was nice 
I wish I had a video of this because they just running across the ice. I wish I did a better composition, but it happened so fast. That's kind of cool. The baby in the back is just like, what are you guys doing? And then I was just trying to focus on a couple of these guys. That's not too bad. We can fix the composition. I was like laying sideways and upside down, so. It wasn't, you know, my best composition work, but I figured I could fix it in post. And then, okay, so I was, I did literally turn the camera upside down and it's not picking it up. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna find the first photo that's upside down and then find the last photo that's upside down and then we can fix this really, really quick by finding the last photo, first of all, which goes all the way to here. So we'll select those all, and then we're just going to flip them until they are the right side up. And now we can go back to where we were, and we can continue on. Keep in mind, like I just showed you, the camera was upside down, so um, the compositions and the level of the photo is not going to be perfect, but I wanted to just get a little bit lower to the ground. I don't know why I'm... Sometimes I end up liking photos on accident, or just thinking, oh, I haven't liked one in a while, maybe I like this one. This is just a, you know, precursor. And this is also just a great way to... Um, quickly s save up some storage and get some storage back on your computer because these 2600 photos on the Canon R5 Mark II I think was like 150 gigabytes so it ends up being a lot and I wish I had better composition when I did these photos but that's it 2600 photos just like that it didn't take too long the cameras at 23 minutes and it's flashing red, so good thing I just paid attention to the camera. But, and I had to go talk a little bit, take care of the dog's mess. So, that's how I edit those photos. So, 2600 photos, I'm going to hit the filter, go to one star, that 2600 now becomes 72. So, that's not too bad. And, honestly, um, what you could do if you want to immediately delete your old photos now i don't recommend this unless you know for sure you hated these photos i really recommend holding on to the photos as long as you can for at least a year come back onto it before you delete anything permanently you might find some stuff that you missed some stuff that you didn't think was good and then your eye changes over the year and i don't know how it works but things change so when you do want to delete them just go to the unrated tab and you're just going to press command a and then delete them. So I'm not gonna delete nothing yet. Like I just said, we're gonna just leave it on the rated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit these photos. I'm not gonna show you my editing process in this video, uh, maybe in a future video. I do have older videos where I show that, um, but I'm gonna edit these photos. I'm gonna put them at the end of the video, see how many I got. I suspect it's gonna be like four or five photos that I really liked. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more photography, check out when I went to Homer, Alaska a couple weeks ago and filmed and photographed this great, great owl for my very first time. 12,000 photos that I had to get on that, but um, yeah, that was a fun video. Check that out right here. It's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.